Hello guys, welcome back to WooCommerce Tutorial Series Part 2. This is Ashley. Today I am going to tell you about adding a new product in WooCommerce. Before that, if you are first in my channel, like my video, subscribe it and don't forget to push the bell icon to get notifications about my every new video. So, in my WooCommerce Part 1 video, you have seen how to add WooCommerce in your WordPress website and have been familiar with WooCommerce Setup Wizard. If not, click on this link above, go through that video before moving into this video. Now you are all ready to add your first product in WooCommerce. For that, this is our dashboard. Just go to the product section and click on add new. Now you can see a familiar page you have seen while doing blogs or pages. It just have some additional features which has been required for a product. Here you can see. We can start by giving a name for our product. I am just giving it as wedding attire. Below that, you can see an area for adding the description. Just provide a nice detailed information about your product. This description can be a long one, which is a complete guide about your product. I am just giving some dummy text. You have to give a nice information about your product. Same as that, you can see another description by dragging all the way down here. You can see this one is a short description compared to the first one. Just limit up to one or two sentences for maximum. I'm just typing it as Just write a nice catchy lines. Remind to keep some keywords in this short description as it is seen near the product image. This is the one which has been viewed by customers mainly. So moving above below the long description box you can see the product data box which has been defaultly set as simple product. So, the WooCommerce has classified the products into various categories to make a better understanding. The first one it is, you can see, it's a simple product. This has been defaultly set by the WooCommerce and it is easily understandable and without have any variations for this product. For example, taking the hat as an example, it only have a one side which is fit for everyone. And the second one it is a group product. This is the collection of simple products. We can purchase that simple product individually. Means it doesn't have a price on its own. Each this price is depending upon the each simple product. For example, uh, we are taking a set of six plates. Each plates can be uh, purchased separately. The next one it is the external or affiliate product. These are the products which are not hosted on our website. Product is added with WooCommerce, but it's sold elsewhere and one can share the link to that affiliate store where our product has to be shared. And when the customers are ready to buy those products, they will be redirected via a URL and can be purchased the product here. This is an external affiliate product. The next one is a variable product, which means you can add a multiple variations to your product such as T-shirts having shirt, uh, t-shirts having sizes, different sizes such as large, medium, small, etc., and also having different colors, etc. Apart from these categories, there are two another categories available that are virtual and downloadable. Virtual products are the products which doesn't have a physical entity, and one doesn't require shipping. Also, for example, a service which has been provided. It doesn't have a, it doesn't need to have a shipping. And the next one is a downloadable product, which, which means if you have a downloadable file attached to a product, you can choose this type of product. After purchase of the product, customers are given a downloadable file via notifications email. This is a perfect example when you can use to sell a digital album, music, etc. Now here I'm just using a simple product for the example. Others are similar to it with having some additional features for that. And down you can see the product data meta box. Here you can 
add the features for your product the first one it is the general tab this tab helps us to give the price information for our product it have two price variations such as regular price and sale price regular price means it is a normal price of the product original price of the product and the sale price means it is a price which we are selling our product it can be discountable one so i'm just giving the regular price as 35000 and the sale price as 28500 and moving on to the next tab that is inventory tab this tab helps you to manage the stock effectively by default you can see sku and stock status options available here sku means stock keeping unit this is an unique identification code which has been given for each product this helps you to track the product you can either assign it manually or you can use a plugin for assigning it and the next one you can see here this is stock status which means you can define whether a product is in stock or out of stock here and above the stock status we can see the manage stock option where is a checkbox named enable stock management at the product level when you enable this you can see additional options are being available the first one is stock quantity which means here you can enter the number of piece available in your stock i'm just adding it three now allow back orders back orders means customers can still purchase a product even when it's out of stock you can deliver the product as soon as the product is in stock or make made it available so you can allow it or disallow it as per your need next option which has been available is lost stock threshold which means this will notify you when the products goes below the threshold you can set number upon which you will be notified by default it is been set as 2 so when the stock goes below 2 you will be get notified by email and the last option you can see here is sold individually option the checkbox is named as enable this to only allow one of this item to be bought in a single order so you can allow it if you want to limit the order limit the product as one per order i'm not going to make any changes other than this i'm just moving on to the next tab that is shipping tab here you can add the physical characteristics of your product such as weight and dimensions you can add shipping goal shipping class also if you have already created one this shipping class helps to categorize the products according to this weight and dimensions so it will make the shipping much easier that is compared uh, to this weight and dimensions uh, the products having same weight and dimensions can be shipped together you can just give weight dimensions length width and height i'm not i'm not just giving any of this and moving on to next tab that is linked products tab this is a marketing tactic for your products by selling by upsells or cross sells upsells means you are recommending an alternative product to the product which has been viewed by the customer it can be expensive one which is compared to the product which has been viewing by this customer for example if the customer is viewing a phone that's a mobile phone you can recommend another phone which have better features and more expensive than currently the product which is being viewed by the customer that is meant by this upsell the cross sell means you can recommend another complementary product which has been related to the product that are being displayed in the cart of the customers for example in the cart of the customer they have a mobile phones so you can recommend the cases for the mobile phone i'm leaving this also and moving on to the next step that is attributes tab you can add custom product attribute here if you don't have one you can create by just adding one this helps you to 
add more vari variables to your products such as colors, sizes, etc. We will discuss it later retaily in another video. I am just moving on to next tab that is advanced tab here where you can give the purchase notes. If you are using custom ordering for your products, you can define a menu position for the product here in this menu order box. And the last option available it is enable reviewing. That is if you want to allow the customer reviews, allow it by ticking the box here. Now below you can see the short description box which has been already discussed earlier. Moving on to next that is we can see more options available on the right side of the page. You can see the category option here. This we have familiar already because we have already seen this categorization in posts and blogs. It is same as here also. You can add categories and subcategories for your product. Such as if you have a trousers, you can subcategorize it as uh, formal, casual, etc. You can add product tags here and below that you can see product image and product gallery. Product image means it is the large picture which has been seen by the customers. It is the main, pi main picture of the product. And the product gallery is extra images that we are adding to the product we can set a product image i am selecting this as my main image set product image and in gallery i am adding one picture now the image is all set now you are ready to publish your first product when you move on to this publish button in near you can see other options available that is one is catalog visibility while clicking on the edit option here you can see you can determine where the product should appear whether in shops archives or hidden etc or you can also set the product as a featured product and you can see the one option available here it is a copy to a new draft this means you can duplicate your product here. You won't be needed to add, add every information that you have currently set repeatedly while adding other product. This helps you to save the time and complete the task much easy. So now you are all ready to publish your product. Just click on the publish button. Now it's publishing. Let's wait for some time. Okay, now it's all done. We can just preview how it's looking like. Now you can see this is our first product. And you can see the gallery image below that. Here is our original price and the sale price. Now this is our stock quantity 3 in stock. You can add to cart. You can see here is our long description that is much below our image. Here is our short description which is most prominent. So that's all regarding adding a new product to the WooCommerce. It's very easy, right? So hope you have understood how to create a new product in your WooCommerce. So if you have any doubt, let us know by leaving a comment here below this video so that's all thank you for this video